Hey, hello programmers and welcome to the first uh, video tutorial on how to implement the program for handling our robots. The very first important thing that we need to do is we need to download a library that I have developed previously that will allow us to make our robots move in a, um, an easier way, okay? So what you need to do first is go to week three on quarter two and in week three go into your programming folder and here you will find a zip file, okay? You're going to download this zip file. This is really important. So you just click on it. You're going to download it to your downloads. And then we need to um, enable this zip file as a library in Arduino. So for the programmers, let's open Arduino. And in Arduino, we are going to start developing our file or our folder, okay? So you go to sketch and you're going to click on include library, manage libraries. Okay, I probably have it already. Uh, mm, yeah, I already have the library. So you're going to click on include libraries, manage libraries. And here, oh, I'm sorry, here are the ones that are on the web already. We need to create a library, include a zip library. So if you go to downloads, go to your downloads you will find that the one that you downloaded you're going to click on open and automatically if you go back where it says include libraries you're going to find it at the bottom now we can use that library that library is going to handle a couple of things in my uh, in my program okay so the first thing we need to do is that we're going to learn how to control two motors okay basically uh, the library is called Robotico okay and a few things are in Spanish because this library is intended for people that don't speak English but it's fine so we call the library Robotico here we create um, the name of our robot this is gonna be the object that I'm creating so instead of Ansuti you can name your robot okay give it a name very creative and, and nice name for your robot and here are some pins that we are going to use during our programming so basically our left motor the left motor is going to be 7 and 8 and our right motor is going to be 12 and 13 so here I am uh, deciding which are the pins that should be connected to the motors we will see a uh, schematic design of that in a few minutes and I will kind of like um, uh, allow you guys to connect all the things okay now the void setup here we're going to establish the speed of the right motor and we're going to establish the speed of the left motor and the very first thing that you need to do is you need to actually make the motors go in one direction okay so probably your mechanical team is um, building the robot but if they're not building it yet with the with the different parts of the robot and I'm going to show you the parts that we have uh, this is going to be uh, this is how the robot is going to look like when it's all built for now for this uh, tutorial for this design you will need the, the Arduino you will need the motor controller and of course you will need the two motors okay and I'll show you in a minute how um, you will connect them all together okay so you don't need to build the whole thing you can just use the Arduino use the motor controller and the wheels for this part of the session okay and we're gonna try to make it go straight where you say adelante the the motors will um, go straight okay so this is important that you write it down now inside my program inside the the library that you see here it's an algorithm that tells the robot at this speed to move a motor either clockwise or counterclockwise so it's a very easy way to do it now this is just it's gonna do it for two seconds remember that um, all the delays in Arduino are in milliseconds so these this will do this will go forward for two seconds now I established this in the setup okay if I do it on the loop this will be done infinitely okay or continuously so um, go on and do the next part which is um, gathering information on how to wire the Arduino okay 
Okay, for the very first part of our electronic assembly, um, we are going to take our motor, uh, where we have a, a black and a red button, okay, um, red wire, and this is the motor controller, okay? Now the motor controller on, on each side will have where we connect the motors, so this will be our left can see it correctly here we have our left motor and we have all our right motor so the very first thing that we're going to do is that connect each the red cable on this one and the black cable on this side and exactly the same thing with the other motor on this side okay so we're going to do that okay you can see that um, we have it right here they're all connected so we have the red and the black wire connected on both sides and if you look over here we're gonna have other connectors okay so we're gonna use a male to male connector okay which is gonna be this is gonna be five volts this is gonna be ground okay so we're gonna connect it to ground and this is gonna be the battery of a robot where we're gonna connect it okay so after this point, what you will develop is that on this side, on the last side, on the one where the battery is connected, you will build, um, you will build a switch. Okay. So make sure you have a switch created that goes from this side. Create a switch and with the black wire on this side. Okay. So here in this part, you will have to solder and build your your switch. Okay. Now for our next video. Or for our next tutorial, we will start um, connecting the battery, but also using these pins over here. As you can see, these pins are going to be the ones that control the if the motor is going clockwise or counterclockwise. And with these pins on the sides, we are going to determine the speed of the motors, okay? Which we will connect from the Arduino later on, okay? So we're going to have some cables from the Arduino go to this point and be able to try out the program that we started, okay?